I'm not sure what you mean, ma'am. Ah, you're getting meta... meta... You're being silly, ma'am. Of course you are, of course you are. I'm not saying you aren't. But I never said not serious, ma'am, did I? Aha! See, ma'am, I know you're serious. You're just being silly. Now, now, ma'am, don't get fussy. I was only fooling. Life is never fair, ma'am. It gives you lemons when you want to make orange juice. That's how the saying goes, right? But what if I want orange juice? Oh, ma'am, you're not talking about him again, are you? Oh no, ma'am, those puppy eyes won't work on me. I already got you an extra tray of biscuit cookies for your morning tea. Don't worry like that. None of that now. Ah, fine. I'll make you some fruit sandwiches and tea. Honestly, I spoil you. Yes, yes, ma'am, I love you. I'll be right back. Are you all right, my lady? My deepest apologies for the interruption, my lady, but I have some letters addressed to you. I came as quick as I received them. A suitor? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the Newport family. Miss, I would suggest holding on to that note. Still, if you were to visit, you'll have proof and knowledge of who he is rather than forgetting the future. A riddle, perhaps? Your mother is returning. That's wonderful news. Is there anything I could do to make you happy, my lady? My lady, are you all right? I brought you... Uh, 
Oh, oh my. <laughs> no worries, ma'am. I didn't say anything, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you both will excuse me, I need to prepare lunch for Lady Beaumont's arrival. Fresh hazelnut spread. My pleasure, ma'am. Any fancy mail today, ma'am? Ooh, a new suitor! What's his name? What's his name? Newport? Has a Newport Law Affairs? You're damn right I have. They're a new lawyer family coming up from out of nowhere. Only the peasantry like me know about them, though. They specialise in helping poor families with houses and such. Anything else? So I heard! The kitchen hands are going crazy at the news! Of course! Abby practically memorizes your mother's schedules, that strange kitchen woman. Anything else? Oh, what of, ma'am? A pumpkin carriage? Like in that Cinderella fairy tale? First fairy tales, now chess? What is this loony thinking? Doesn't make a lick of sense if you ask me. Are you sure it wasn't the wrong address? Hmm, that's very strange, ma'am. Anything else? So, ma'am, what are you going to wear for your mother when she arrives? Well, you could always wear the white one your mother bought from France. Then there's also the red one from Spain. That one looks good on you. Ooh, very fun, ma'am. Won't your mother disapprove, though? She hates it when you wear red. As long as you're sure, ma'am. Let's get you cleaned up, ma'am. Then we'll get this dress on you. Just a little more, ma'am. Your mother would kill us both if we don't do this right. You look so pretty, ma'am. Men would fall to their knees for you. Who is that? I don't recognize the carriage. Ah, uh, ma'am, 
gonna be the new pot son who sent you that letter? He's come to court you! Oh my, this is exciting! <clears throat> Mr. Newport, may I introduce the current lady of the house, Miss Beaumont. Oh, wow. <laughs> Allow me to say you look absolutely stunning, Miss Beaumont. Yes, Isaac Newport. It's a pleasure to finally meet you at last. Oh, well, I was in town and I was passing by your estate, so I decided to come by and possibly meet you. Obviously, it was a good choice. Oh, no, I, I wasn't insinuating anything of the sort. I, I merely wished to stop by and meet you, that's all. Would you follow me to the drawing room, please? I'll prepare some tea and bring it as soon as it's ready. Thank you so much. Is something troubling you, my lady? Yes, my lady. Your mother has returned. Ah, there you are. Punctual as expected. Are you wearing the red dress? I should have you march back to your room and change. However, I don't have the patience to argue with you about this. Now, can you explain to me why there's another carriage in the front? And where is he? I have no time for guests. I have much to do, and I won't have you entertaining guests without me. Escort him out. Yes, madam. Now, have you been keeping up with your studies? Have you been practicing the piano? Perfecting your handwriting? Good. Then we can discuss. Oh, hello, Lady Beaumont. It is a pleasure to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Newport. I'm afraid we have some business to attend to, so we cannot entertain you today. Feel free to stop by tomorrow. I understand perfectly, ma'am. Please, have a good day. And a good day to you too, Miss Beaumont. Mr. Newport, you say? He looked to be your age. Was he a suitor? Leave the tea. Bring new cups. Yes, madame. How old are you now? Seventeen and still unmarried. What am I to do with you? 
Anyways, I will be staying here for a couple of days to deal with some in-town business. I expect you to entertain Mr. Newport properly should he return. This goes for any suitor, understand? The dinner schedules will be upheld as I am here. If you are not at dinner during the scheduled time, you will not eat, understand? Good. Come now, ma'am, you should be happy! You keep saying that, miss! If you keep looking at it like that, you'll never get oranges! A riddle? The glass slipper bit talks about Little Red Riding Hood, but the second part talks about chess again. Ooh, ooh, maybe it's a sign! Someone's telling you to, uh, um, well, uh... Ma'am, I shouldn't you? Okay, ma'am. Have a good rest. My lady, I know it's you. Come on out. I can recognize your perfume and powder, my lady. My lady, you shouldn't be out this late. There's no excuse, my lady. Come, we must get you back inside. 